Hi everyone, today we are learning how to make a daily timetable. So what we're going to do is we're going to think of different activities that we do throughout the day and then we're going to connect them to o'clock times. So that might be nine o'clock, eleven o'clock, one o'clock and so on. Let's get started. We're just going to start with some revision because yesterday in our lesson we were looking at the clock and we were looking at o'clock times. So we're going to go through all of the hour times that we have in a day. And our first one here is 12 o'clock. We can see that our hour hand, which is the short hand, is pointing to the 12 and so is our minute hand, which is the long hand. And it says here, 12 o'clock. Okay, now we have one o'clock and then we have two o'clock. And what you can see is that our minute hand, our long hand, always stays in the same spot for an o'clock time. And then our short hand here is going around until it gets to the one, and over here for two o'clock it went around to get to the two. So we have two o'clock. Here we have three o'clock. Our hour hand is pointing to the three and our minute hand, our long hand is on the 12. Then we have four o'clock and five o'clock. And again, to help us read the time, we can look at the short hand and see where it's pointing to. And I can see here that it is pointing to the four. And over here, it is pointing to the five. Next, we have six o'clock, seven o'clock, and eight o'clock. Okay, let's have a look at some more. Now we have nine o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. And again, our long hand, our minute hand has always stayed on the 12 and our short hand is pointing to whatever number it is for us to read the time. So for instance, this one is nine o'clock because it's pointing to the nine and our long hand is pointing to the 12. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. Okay, let's move on. Now, boys and girls, what we're going to do now is create a class timetable of things that we do throughout the day. And what I've got here on my left hand side are some instructions of what we're going to do together. So, step one says to get a piece of paper and divide it into seven parts. Now, the way I'm going to show you is here on the right hand side, and instead of using paper today, I have created this on a Word document. Now, you may have been getting lots and lots of practice typing and using different computer controls, so I've decided to test them out today and use them in our lesson. So let's just count my piece of paper and make sure that I have seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven parts. We have completed step one. Now, step two says on the left side, we will write the time to the hour. So think back just before when we were going through all of our o'clock times during the day, we're going to write a few of them on a piece of paper. And I want you to think about our school day because we're going to start with nine o'clock. Now here I have nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock and lastly I have three o'clock because that's when we go home. 
Okay, now I want you to think about the different activities that we complete at these times. And I thought that we could have a little brainstorm session. So get your thinking caps on and let's have a little think. One that I thought of was kindy groups. We do do that every day. We have free play on some days, not every day, but some days in the afternoons when we've been really, really busy. We have lunchtime. We always start school. We usually do maths work every day. And then lastly, I have home time because we definitely have that every day. You do always end up going home. Okay, so next to each time, we are going to draw a picture or write a short sentence about an activity that we do. Now, what I've done is I've put together our class timetable and I've used our words from our brainstorm and we're going to put them in order. So let's have a look. Here, I've got nine o'clock and at nine o'clock, we start school. So usually you're already here at school and then you come into the classroom and this is when we usually start our learning. And then we have 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock, we usually have kindy groups. Now, K Blue usually goes into K Purple and we do our reading and other literacy activities. So at 10 o'clock, we have kindy groups. And then at 11 o'clock, we have recess. This is when you go outside and you have something to eat and you have a run around and play some games. And then after recess and at 12 o'clock, we have our maths work. Usually in the middle session, we're always doing some maths. So I put that here. And then at one o'clock, we have lunch. And usually at one o'clock here, we're in our classrooms and we have our eating time. And we have those 15 minutes to make sure we've finished all of our food. And then after that, we get to go outside and play. Now here at two o'clock, I have free play because on some afternoons, at about this time after lunch, when we're all hot and we're tired, we have some free play. And this gives you a chance to talk to your friends and socialize and create things and all of those fun activities. And then lastly, at three o'clock, I have home time because this is the time that your parents or your grandparents or your carers pick you up and take you home. So here you can see that this is our class timetable. These are the things that we do throughout the day. And then I've matched them to the times here on the left hand side. And we'll just go through those times one more time. Nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, and three o'clock. Okay, thank you so much for helping me. Now it's your turn. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose from one of the times below and you're going to think of any activity that you do at this time every day. And what I would like you to do is draw a picture or write a sentence about your activity. Now you might like to choose nine o'clock. And because we're working from home and doing all of our learning at home, I want you to think of something that you do at nine o'clock when you're at home. Now that could be that you check off your attendance every day because that's when that's scheduled. Or it could be that you're starting some of your writing. Or you might like to choose the time one o'clock. And this could be when you're eating your lunch and that you're having a break. So I would like you to choose one of the times and then you can draw a picture or write a sentence about your activity. Now, this is optional. So you can choose to do it or you can choose not to. That's up to you. But you can create a daily timetable of your day. 
So not of our class timetable of what all of us do when we're at school, but of something that you do um, during your day when you're at home. Now that is optional. You can choose to do that, or you might just like to choose one activity that you do at one time of the day. Okay, boys and girls, we can't wait to see what you've come up with. Enjoy, bye.